if I've got like 10 minutes left of filming and said just noise, okay? I'll do my best. So <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to Serve Neat. We're here at Noble Jones, and we're gonna be trying three different cocktails today. So let's get inside and check them out. All right, so right now we're inside of Noble Jones. I'm here with Sarah Crow. She's gonna be our bartender today, and she's gonna make us three different drinks. Um, but before we go into that, let's talk about Noble Jones a little bit. Um, where did we start, or how long ago did we start Noble Jones? Because it's a fairly new concept here to Augusta. Uh, Noble Jones, the person, was the original architect of the streets in Augusta. So Chef JD, he's a classically French trained chef. Um, he decided just to make like minimalist smoked food that represented kind of the, the time area era of that. Um, Noble Jones, the restaurant, was like, it's been, it was like a year and a half in the making before we actually opened on July 8th. We renovated the entire building. Um, it's a historic building. This is the oldest street in Augusta. Yeah. So we're downtown again, um, but you started with Noble Jones right from the beginning and tell us a little bit about yourself. You, you didn't actually start as a bartender here. You were, what, what did you do to begin with? I have been a professional chef for five or six years. Um, I had probably every single part of the house position that you could imagine. So when I got really into culinary stuff, you know, I switched to the back of the house and then I wanted to switch back just to fulfill that creative side. You know, Jeff, chef JD said I handled the kitchen, but he lets me run wild with all my creativity up front. That's pretty awesome. So, what making drinks? Are you doing uh, seasonal things every day? Different things, weekly things, or how do you go about that? We try. Um, I'm the bar manager and lead bartender, but a couple other bartenders that we always put a hand in creativity. Like we encourage them to be creative. Um, when I took over the bar managing position, I wanted to do chef-driven cocktails, like things with sort of intense flavor profiles that would complement Chef Katie's food. Nice. And the younger bartenders just follow my lead and they go crazy with all their stuff. They, they've honestly made some really, really great drinks, sometimes better than mine. So yeah, uh, specifically pick things that a drink can go with an entree that, that you got and they kind of pair with each other. We do. Um, we try to do a lot of drinks that go with like Chef JD's specials, like we'll do it as a combo or, or when we do the social media we'll pair them together, but a lot of it is fresh herbs always, fresh purees always. He's got this crazy Texas smoker out back that we just like stick a bunch of fruit in and just see what we can mm. come up with, you know, because a lot of that isn't really done consistently in the so that's what we try to accomplish. Today I'm going to be doing the water lily, which is in a coupe glass, so it's up uh, with, it usually comes with Boodle's gin, which is our well gin, it's very nice, but I'm going to do some organic farmers with it today. And then we've got the don't give up a shit, which became our motto, uh, they'll show you the sign in a second, but it's a smoked blueberry and sage puree that I throw in a smoker and just let it like sit and ruminate for like an hour and I can't tell you exactly what right. it's going but it's amazing. And then we've got um, a throwback winter cocktail that we did with Don Q Oak Barrel Aged Rum. It's a rum old fashion. Nice. Which is classic, simple, and a little bit different on, it. on, the, on the old fashioned. Excellent. So we're gonna try those drinks out. We're gonna make those here in a second. But tell us about any kind of specials that we have. I know we have an F and B special. Yeah, um, we try to do all kinds of stuff, especially to represent first responders, veterans, and our biggest soldiers, which are the F and B soldiers. Uh, all day long on Thursday is F and B. Uh, basically, happy hour for them all day. You get twenty percent off your entire bill. Plus, you're in good company. It's a lot of our friends that come. Uh, Wednesday is a Wild Wednesday, so it's half off. House one, which we've got a really great selection of house one, and we tried to put a lot of heart into just what you call the shelf or, or well drinks or 
or house, house wine. Um, our happy hour is three to six every day, and we are open from Wednesday to Saturday from 12 to eight every day. So that's a big chunk of the time that right. we're open. You get wonderful discounts, and so it's a couple dollars off of our wines, a couple dollars off of our um, well liquor drinks, and five dollars Second City, which are our buddies just across the way. Nice, and we just, our last video actually was at Second City, and it's right across over there, fantastic people. So check that video out. We'll put a link or a little thing right there. So click on that too after the video. Um, so let's go into making drinks. Our okay. first one is called? Uh, we're gonna do the water lily first. Water lily, absolutely. So let's check that out. gin cocktail for summer. So it's got notes of creme de violet, lemon, and a wonderful gin called Farmers. I just heat up the rosemary, kind of scorch it a little bit on a couple of leaves, just so you get that. Oh, there you have it, that's a water lily. All right, so we have our first drink right here, and I don't know if you can see the color, but absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, it's a nice and relaxing drink. Even more at the end of the night, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, I'm about to drink it all. Mm -mm. I'm gonna hand it off to Chase. Um, it has a very nice, I don't know how to uh, describe it. The way it looks, it kind of, the way it tastes like. Smooth, uh, it's like very relaxing. Ar aromatic. Yes, there you mm. go, I couldn't aromatic. think of the word. Perfect, thank you. That's the correct word. So, aromatic and of course the smoking of um, the rosemary helps it out, it gives a nice, um, you know, smell to it also. So very nice job, light and crisp. So light, crisp, aromatic. Perfect. So there we have that drink right here. Now we're gonna go into the second one, which is called? Uh, next we're gonna do, actually we'll go ahead and do the Don't Give Up the Ship. Okay. So we're gonna get the new staple drink here. Um, and you made this one up, right? Um, actually, no. Lauren Sprouse, a good friend of mine, is one of the bartenders. So she was had just learned bartending, and wow. she was like, "Let's make a puree." We didn't know what to name it. It's just this deep blue navy color, and then one day we just looked up and said, "Oh, wait!" And that, that's when everything, you know, kind of happened. Um, I, I think that's pretty cool to have somebody that's new making up a drink and then y'all using it instead of just being like, "Oh, you don't know what you're doing." Kind of, kind of using. It. So that's really um, fantastic. We are a bunch of wackos. This, uh, I've never worked at a place where we're so much like a family. And JD, more than anything, as well as Hannah and myself, we always try to encourage creativity. Nice. Whether it, it even if you're just a server, just with your wine presentation, your dialogue, or how you describe a dish, it's always kind of left up to you as long as it goes with the uh, morale right. and the theme of the restaurant. Awesome. So let's check out this second drink and um, that should lead the way. Bitters, copper pot distilled independent rum. This stuff is thick. Anytime you've got fruit or anything like that, you want to do a double strain.
I'm gonna do my train. Just a little bit of the puree is macerated, so you just want to help it. Try not to make a mess. Smoke the crap out of it. Uh, smokers are really cool. They just put an extra layer of flavor profile into any drink. And you can go crazy with the kind of wood chips. You can put um, lavender or any kind of herbs in with the smoker. To get this in the shop for you. See it? Alrighty. Ready? This is the fun part. Serve sage in there too. Don't forget. Pretty. Delicious too. So this is one of the new concoctions, and it's called what again? The Don't Give Up the Ship. Don't Give Up the Ship. Now it has very nice colors to it, um, with the red, the green, and the yellow. Um, so I don't know if you can see it, but this is it right there. We smoked it a little bit, give it a little extra zing and zang flavor to it. Oh, and it's absolutely worth it. It's really, really good. It almost has like a little scotch kind of note to it because of the smoke oh man this is I definitely recommend this drink right here it has a sweetness uh, smokiness to it crisp um, I'm gonna try it all right so we got one more drink to do that would be a drink number three and um, I guess we're about to do that right yeah it's a it's a rum old fashion off of like your standard old fashioned, nice. but with a dark oak cast from. Nice. As you know, um, I love myself some old fashioned. I make mine with bourbon and rum, but I love old fashions any kind of way. They all taste fantastic to me. You make a pretty mean old fashioned. Thank you. Thank you. But uh, let's let's go do that. Um, we're gonna make an old-fashioned. We're gonna use fresh sugar, not simple syrup. A lot of people like to put cherries in an old-fashioned. I'm one of those people, but we're not gonna do that here. We're gonna throw this beautifully, magically twisted orange peel in there. Uh, Earl Grey bitters. A lot of these drinks, you can get so many really, really chill and awesome bitters for flavor profiles. All right, soda water molecularly just breaks down sugar. Just a square of that. Metal. Orange peel. You should just see it bubbling up like science. This oak smoke. Same bourbon rules, we're gonna stir, never shake. Even though it's wrong, you can technically get away with it. Well, it seems redundant, but we're gonna always use fresh ice. After strain. Okay. 
I'm gonna show you how to make a really, really awesome orange twist professionally. You need your peeler, you're comfortable using it, and then you need scissors. So if you're a bartender and you work at a fancy place like me and you know you're gonna be busy, you're gonna make, wanna make like 20 of these before your shift and just keep them on ice water. Cut a ribbon. And the key to a really good twist is cutting it the same way, don't cut it the opposite way. Like that. And twist it up like this. And it's perfect. Boop. And there's your rum old fashioned. So right now we're gonna try our third drink. It is uh, old fashioned made with rum and it's called Crow's Nest Old Fashioned. So let's try it. It's very sweet, it's very good. I actually never tried an old fashioned with just rum before. So it's a nice variation. I tried it with rum and bourbon or just bourbon just with rum is something new to me. I'm digging it. I think it's very it's good. Very, no. very easy to drink. Rum yes. Really, it's got a little bit more of a sweetness. Just and what kind of bitters was it again that you used? We on? use Earl Grey bitters. So it's like two base bitters. I'm gonna drink these all day, all day long. All right, so we tried our three different drinks. But there you have it, a little video on that. Like and subscribe, and as always, serve the needs.